Hi, so I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the Medtronic MiniMed 640G. We're going to have a really brief look at the home screen and also the main menu options. So here we've got the bolus and the basal shortcuts that allow you to get to those options quickly. I found that they're the options that I use the most in the pump, so it's quite handy to be able to have those right on the home screen. We've also got a graph of what the sensor tells me that my glucose levels are doing at the moment, which is really handy to see. And you've also got the current reading that the sensor is giving. Quite often arrows appear where the glucose level is. So they tell you which direction that your glucose levels are moving in and at what speed, which is really helpful. You've also got a shortcut menu at the top that tells you things like how long it is until you need to change your sensor, whether it's transmitting and working properly, how much insulin you've got, and the connectivity options as well. So to get to the main menu, you press this button here. So our first option here is suspend delivery. So if you needed to stop the insulin delivery for any reason, that's the option that you've pressed. You've then got your audio options. So because you're wearing the sensor and because you set parameters for your glucose levels too low or too high, this option tells you whether you want the pump to make a noise and alert or whether you want it to vibrate or not to do either at all. The history option is something that's really handy about insulin pumps compared to injections in my opinion because if for example you think that you've forgotten to take your insulin with an insulin pump you can just check back and see whether you've taken it or not. So this gives an account of the last day, the last couple of days to see what's been going on so you can look at your total daily doses as well. We've then got the reservoir and tubing option. So the reservoir is the part of the pump up here which holds the insulin that delivers in through the tubing. So if you need to change those, you need to top them up because your insulin has run out, that's the option that you need. We've then got the insulin settings themselves. So there's more than one way to give insulin. You don't have to give it all as one option, all as one in one go. You can also split up the dose in different ways. So all of those options are in here. The sensor settings are the next option, so if you needed to start a new sensor or reconnect it, then this is the option that you choose. One of the really clever things about this pump um, that I found so far are the event markers. So for example, if when I found that I've got high blood sugars and I want to do a set change, but my blood sugars have gone high, so I need to do a correction with a pen, the event markers option allows me to write that down and note it so that when I upload the data later, I'm able to see what's been going on. You can also put things like exercise or blood glucose levels in as well. Then you've got reminders. So if you wanted to remember, for example, to test after a high or a blood, low blood glucose reading, this option just gives you a reminder on the pump to do that. And finally, you've got the utilities. So similar to what you'd find on a mobile phone, you can choose how long the, the pump is lit for or to change the time and date. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, then please click subscribe. Alternatively, you can check out my Twitter or my Instagram, the details for which are on the screen. And you can also have a look at my blog, which is available at melaniestevenson.co.uk. And it's just a day-to-day -day look at life, sport and diabetes. Thank you.